Antonio here with another daily reminder for you. And today's daily reminder is the problems with problems. <laughs> I was reading a quote earlier today from uh, Theodore Rubin. He is a really powerful quote. I think he says, the problem is not that there are problems. The problem is expecting otherwise and thinking that having problems is the problem. <laughs> so this quote came from a conversation I was having around the idea of problems. Someone made the comment about, well, not calling things problems, calling them challenges, calling them opportunities and calling them contrasts and conflicts, etc. And here's the thing. Feel free to call them what you want. Use whatever verbiage, whatever language you choose. And, and I do believe that there is power in the word, in the language that we use when we're describing things. But it's not just in the words that we use. It's the feeling that we have around those things and the way we choose to respond to them. So if someone said, hey, there's a problem, is then the question becomes, how do you feel about that? How do you respond to that? You know, there's the, the, the infamous phrase, Houston, we have a problem. Now, they could have said, um, you know, Houston, we have a challenge. Or Houston, we have a conflict. Well, there was a problem going on on the space shuttle at the time. They said, hey, we've got a problem here. So, so the real key to it is again, it's not just using flowery words to, to cover up what's going on in your life. It's really looking at how you are dealing with those things and how you're choosing to respond. Because the thing is, is this, if you see problems as being problematic, then guess what they are. And if you expect that the, the idea of having a life where you experience problems in and of itself is a problem, then you're going to have a very challenging life. The reality of it is, is that you're going to have problems in your life. You're going to have things that don't go the way you want. You're going to have challenges and whatever you want to call them. There are going to be these things that we have to deal with and how we choose to deal with them is going to determine the quality of our lives. So whether you want to call them problems, conflicts, challenges, opportunities, whatever you want to call them, deal with them. Deal with them with the understanding of this is a part of life. Whatever I'm experiencing in this moment is a part of life. It may not feel good at the time. We may not understand the concepts behind why we're going through what we're going through, but understand that we're going through it because it's a part of life. I can't remember. It wasn't, it wasn't um, Napoleon Hill. I, I, man, I think, I, I'm thinking it was Jim Rohn, if I'm not mistaken. He was telling a story. Uh, about a kid who was complaining about having problems and the, the mentor that he was complaining to took him down to the cemetery. He says, you see all these people here in this cemetery? None of them have problems. And it puts it in perspective. It puts it in perspective for you. So if you have problems, it's not a problem, right? Not a problem. <laughs> That's it for today's Daily Reminder, guys. And I'll tell you what else is not a problem. Leaving a comment is not a problem. Sharing this is like, I have no problem with you sharing and liking and commenting. No problem at all. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, another day.